following this schematic for button sizes. We will, we will need 16 of this size, 4 of this size, and 4 of that size. So we we'll take our aluminum foil. Using our ruler, and we measure off at least, at least a 10 inch long segment like this. Then we tear cleanly and straight. Wait it flat. This will, this will become a 10 by 11 button. So we measure across 10. Measure across 11 in this case. Using the good edge as our Indicator. We check that this piece is basically 10 inches, but it's not, so we'll need to mark off there too. Like so, and now we use our let's see, trusty sharp blade to cut along these lines. Yeah, yeah that's excess material. Slowly like this. And carefully separate. the edges. And repeat with this edge. Don't worry, if the don't worry if the edges come out a little rough. So we will be covering those with duct tape anyways.
pair of corn dual links for the first layer. that. We're going to leave this corner open for the wire attachment point. So now we're going to do a full length piece here. And we're going to use about a 10% overlap on each, 5 to 10% overlap on each piece of duct tape. Set this a piece aside for later use somewhere else. And continue the, and we continue the taping process. where that piece of duct tape that we had previously comes in handy. Now, this will be the surface that goes, that's contacted by the foam. Well, this side will be the contact surface. So to wrap this around and make this more, a more stable connection, we take a length of tape, the length of the side here, Put it on to the previously previous tape layer halfway, and then swing it about the back to, to create an insensitive edge where there is no contact material. Again, trimming off any excess. And we repeat this process 
we can bid this corner open for later use. Now we want to carefully, while leaving a bit of soil here for the contact region, Careful. Do not tear the, the foil as we pull the tape back for good repos for a good reposition. And there's one complete button. This button, we have the conductive backing of a metal pad and the tenacity of duct tape. We leave this spot open for the button wire to attach to. This process is repeated 16 times. And again with 4 of A and 4 of B, since there are one contact surface, two contact surface, and foam between.